I'd like to start off to be telling you how Vanuatu lives here in Vanuatu. So, as I told you, it has to be taught in our dust. Why? I was a job at home, in our meeting house, in our Nakamal, in any coastal area. The original place to be doing it. That is only in our wasted dust at home. Why we are using our wasted dust? Because one day, whenever we'll be dying, then we have to say dust to dust whenever someone dies. And to communicate to our sisters that they've been dying for so many years, we will touch their holiness, and whatever we'd like to be knowing, our spiritual dust will be inspiring us. We will be knowing it only if we touch their dust. Because you are now in Vanuatu, for a good holiday, for those of you who are in honeymooners, the symbol of I love you, will do it to your boyfriend or girlfriend whenever she is walking towards you by herself only, or himself only. There, yeah. a man was there, but he believed very powerfully, very strongly, in one of our very old saying here in Vanuatu that says, we got to be true in life to make it right. But we got to be true to make it whole. So a man was here and he thought, if there's a sun, there must be a rain. If there's a night, there has to be a day. So I am a husband, I should have my wife here. It's not talkative enough, then you destroy it. What that any woman sound like, any man sound like. I love this symbol. It simply means whatever we'd like to be doing on earth, we must always have respect. And we must always have the holiness of each of us. That whatever we'd like to be doing, our life should be naturally extended by themselves. I think I'll do one more. If you'd like to share if the picture, I'll do one more, a few more. Okay, so here, there are lots of drawings here in Vanuatu. But I'm deciding to be drawing a sandal of a city for the night, for us all. Because here in Vanuatu, we are having taken. Lots of curtains, lots of cabos. Some of us, we are calling our project father here Snake. And Snake is one curtain. Some of us, we are calling our project father there Octopus in a sea. I am also one of those Octopus now. Some of us, we are calling our project father there of Black Lizard in our forest. Some are root crop, some are insect. And some of our bush fans like this network, that is one of our churches. But how do you know about your own one and my own one? We're only knowing during the time of our birth, we are lying on a woman's hand. And the grand little baby is a family from a simple top. Then we only as Israel that, or Israel from that, we are having that right. We must always like this little light. Our traditional life in Vanuatu is only at white upon our lip. Then we'll be coming dancing towards our little baby, welcoming him. It is a family from Masita Tol, but we must always sing a song of Masita Tol, telling him and telling her. <laughs> And whenever we come closer to him or her in our dust, then we must always draw his thirteen all the time. Yeah. If it's a family of Roma Sita Tol, then our very best ever teaching of the control, they are like our secret golden rule. Like we'll be telling him, starting from now on, one day, whenever you're growing up into a humble man or woman, but it's very tough to marry a total to a total. I'd like to be married another class. Why? Because I'd like to have all my grand little kids. Every one of them must be very, very recognized people in our community. And they're already born to be a leader in man or woman. But they must always start slowly somewhere, developing without stop. 
at the end they must always reach up to. If you have family from a seat at all, don't ever kill it. Protect it, protect it. And at last, don't eat it too. Because it will keep you every hope and it will go last along during your lifetime. Okay, so I'm only doing two of that. If you'd like to see one more, I can do one more. Otherwise, I should do one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there are lots of drawings that we could be seeing tonight. But I'd like to do one more for the last before we finish. Okay, so here in Vanuatu, although we are planning lots of our road crop in our garden, but yet our yam is a very respectful road crop of all. Why? Because our yam, once upon a time, it has been coming out from a human being. One of the sun rolling rule, it says, Start your custom story, then start your drawing. But finish your custom story, make sure to finish your drawing too. At your okay time, but you're finishing. And I'll do this in the original way. Custom story of a yam, it goes on like this. So here, once upon a time, there lived one of a very, very old man. And the very old man's name was Kweti Kweti. But Kweti Kweti in his village, he was a baker. But why he has to be a baker out for many people in his village? He was only a baker because he's got lots of sores covering his whole body, starting from his toe up to his forehead. And that is why he can't do all his gardening by himself. So every day he has to be at home digging for food. Whenever he is seeing someone holding whatever to be eating in his hand, then he has to be going, sitting next to him, begging him, saying, What you are eating now in your hand, please? But like, if I could eat a little bit of it only. And whenever he's been begging a lot, and also whenever the village people felt that sometimes they are too tired of being begging all the time, then they told him, See, but you wait, you were asking lots and lots of things out from us. And so how can we survive with all our kids while they are hungry, running home sometimes, asking for food? But you are also sitting in the midst of them, taking for the same piece of wood also. At that very point of time, at one time, the Tibetu has already been lying down, nearly to be dying. But he was only answering them in a very whispering voice, saying, I've been asking you lots and lots of things at different times, but now I can really feel hard for my body that shortly I'll be dying. I haven't given you anything at all during my lifetime, but if I'll be dying now, dying tonight, dying tomorrow right here at dawn, instead of bearing the whole body of me, then I'd like you to chop every part of my body in the little pieces of me, all those little pieces of me has to be buried separately in a crown, it will take a month, then you'll be seeing one good crop growing, that root crop. One day it must be above every root crop that you're planning now in your garden, and the root crop, you'll name it at last a yam. So, that is a young flower, but the way you've been telling them, if you'll be interested in eating you, whatever you'll be doing in this egg, it must always success because I am only your success of all. I am his head. That is why one day, whenever you'll be dying, then you've got to come back to follow my life cycle. We are here, one day we must be there. Some decades, like 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, we'll be rising up somewhere. And this is only the evidence of our custom story. So I've told you in the beginning. Whatever story, whatever historical story, they must always have the evidence of it. And that is a young cow, all the young seeds are here. Young seeds, young seeds, young seeds. Whenever they fall down, they multiply to the different kinds of yams. Today we could have varieties and varieties of yams, but all those many yams have only been coming out from that one ever yam. To be finishing off, a highlight of a yam festival for the day that is coming up at our a land lighting. 
to the southern part of Singapore. The little boys around the age of eight years old, they go to Chamon Lower Station to get up to show their manhood to <coughs> become man. Circumcision has to be done also during that very time. And before we finish off, thank you very much for attention and thank you very Thank you.